man, Mike Seidel, is standing by in the Twin Cities a suburb of Bloomington, Minnesota. Mike, could you tell us what form of precipitation is coming down right now and perhaps how that is affecting the surfaces that uh, are around you? Okay, Bob, well, I want you to just listen for a few seconds to what's hitting me. <laughs> I you hear, hear that? I hear that, it. We're, we're in, into what I would say a very driving, stinging sleet storm here in Bloomington. We're on the south side of Minneapolis, St. Paul. And as that howling southeast wind drives these ice pellets into my face, I feel like a, a goalie for a dartboard team. It is really coming down right now. The temperature is up to 31. So we've seen a climb since we started broadcasting a couple of hours ago from 28 up to 31 degrees. So it's getting closer to freezing. And uh, by later this afternoon, that temperature could edge just above freezing. Right now, though, we're getting a lot of sleet. We had some thunder and lightning earlier. Behind me, off to my right and your left, you're seeing Interstate 494, a major thoroughfare here in Minneapolis-St. Paul. And you're seeing that the cars are hardly moving. We've had a lot of spin-outs, a lot of accidents around the area. These cars are trying to get, a lot of them trying to get into Minneapolis as they're backing up uh, from 35W up the road. So a lot of problems on the highways this morning caused by this first wintry uh, bout with precipitation. Not a lot of snow or sleet for Minnesota, uh, for the locals here in Minnesota. But again, it's the first uh, time they've had to drive on this kind of uh, surface since uh, last spring. And I guess a lot of people are, uh, you know, taking it maybe a little too quickly. They're spinning out. They're, and there's been numerous accidents. Well, Mike, with temperatures rising, how do you think that will affect motorist driving conditions later today? Well, right now it's 31. As I mentioned, it's gone up three degrees. If the temperature does get above freezing, obviously that's really going to help the situation. There is no guarantee that. but. We're uh, hoping that we, we can maybe get that thermometer up to 33, maybe 34 degrees by 4 or 5 o'clock. And that's a long way off. That's still, you know, another good seven or eight hours. Uh, the salt trucks and uh, salt and sand trucks have been out since midnight last night before it really started coming down. And they could come by here continuously. So the road crews are working uh, very diligently and keeping these roads in pretty good shape. Basically, uh, they're wet or slushy and sleet covered. The problem with a backup is not because there's a lot of ice or it's not a sheet of ice, but the problem is there's so many accidents and that's just kind of putting a bottleneck on the highways around the Twin Cities this morning. And as you can see, the sleet is just pounding, pounding here in uh, Bloomington. I can hear it, Mike. I can hear it. Thank you for braving the pounding sleet. I see you've got your trusty Weather Channel coat on and we'll be checking back with you later for the latest on that to freezing precipitation.